25 years as a pastor, I have never met and married a couple that met each other in preschool. What a wonderful evening, wind and all. Aubrey, many here have seen the two of you grow up, and Wade, most have seen the two of you as in the past several years as you've dated and related and gotten to this point. But what a privilege it is for us all. And Aubrey, Wade loves you for many reasons. He says this, that you are the most thoughtful person that he has ever met. He appreciates and takes notice of, of how you love to spend time with him, that you actually go out of your way to, to make him feel special on those fishing and hunting trips, and you're so supportive. He appreciates that so much. <laughs> Told you to get your tears out now. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. I my mother after all. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> well, Wade Aubrey loves you for many reasons as well. In fact, I ran out of room writing that. I had to write really small. <laughs> Wade, she says you are strong and you are kind. She loves the way that you work together so well. She says, Wade, you are a man of a few words, but so filled with kindness and love. So for those and so many other reasons, the two of you have a great head-turning story already. And I can tell you and your family can tell you that based on our favorite book, <laughs> the best of the best head-turning days are from this day forward. I love Aubrey. You all love Aubrey. You know how wonderful and fabulous and smart and honest and beautiful she is. And Aubrey always said that she wanted a man who loved her and loved Jesus. And that was her two requirements. And Wade is so much more. Do you, Wade, take this woman whose hands you now hold to be your beloved wife? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Aubrey, take this man whose hands you now hold to be your beloved husband? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love, honor, cherish, and protect him? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, for as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> Something about myself not too far back, my daughter went to college, and for six months I was probably the most melancholy person. And my mom taught me to uh, take challenges like that and to, uh, and, they're, and they're actually exciting, you know, adventures that happen when you take that challenge. So when I had to think about walking Aubrey down the aisle, I was wondering how it would feel. Basically, what I found was is that the reason I wasn't sad is because my prayers were answered, that she would find someone that would be able to enjoy what Pam and I have enjoyed. And my prayers were answered today, and that's why, and Aubrey, I do not feel sad, and I do not feel melancholy. I am so, so happy for you. And so here is to Wade and Aubrey, and I wish you all the best. Aubrey, I promise before God, family and our friends, be your loving and faithful husband. Share my life with you. Share my life with you. Sickness and in health. Good times. In good times and in bad times. For as long as we both shall live. Wade, I promise before God, our family and our friends, <laughs> we are loving and faithful wife. <laughs> to share my life with you. To share my life with you. In sickness and in health. Good times and in bad times. In good times and in bad times. And in windy times. <laughs> For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> and Aubrey, will you receive this ring as a symbol of Wade's love for you? And will you wear it as a symbol of your love for him? I will. And Wade, 
Will you accept this ring as a token of the sincerity of Aubrey's love for you? And will you wear it as a symbol of your love for her? I will. For Wade and Aubrey, I get to say my favorite words. And in just about 30 seconds, Wade, you get to share your favorite part. Because having pledged your faith in and your love to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wade, you may now kiss the bride. And what a privilege it is for me to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Wade and Aubrey Strelick. Father, thank you for everybody here, and thank you for such a joyous day. And this is the day that you have made. And this is the couple that you have made. And I ask, Father, that everybody here rejoice in them and be glad in them and encourage them for the rest of their lives and always be there like they are for so many of us. On top of my face I gave blind ten years ago It's been very fun to watch the relationship grow and it might sound weird but it's been very comforting for me because as a best friend you always hope that person finds their person and their perfect match and I always hoped that somewhere along the way Aubrey would meet someone who would not only be her husband but would be a best friend to her every day by her side even though I'm not going anywhere I can't tell you how happy it makes me to know that Aubrey has found a best friend in you way Wade and I have, uh, we met on the lake, we've really been really quite best friends ever since, but uh, growing up, Wade is, has a nickname, it's Aggie, Agro. If that makes sense, you're thinking, what does that word mean? Um, out of control. Just having a good time, just living life, you know, it's kind of like right now. We're here together, we're all with loved ones, family, and uh, it's moments like these that we're going to remember for the rest of our lives, because this right here is what means the most to us. raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Strelick to have a marriage full of hope, smiles and laughter, most importantly, love.